right, so two of the big additions right there, Max Domi yep. and Miko Koivu. Let's go back to what Domi said. You know exactly where you stand with John Tortorella. You played for him. Yes. We know that, you know, p players who play for him, you know exactly where you stand, good or bad. You think this might be a nice fit for Max Domi. Why? Because, as Max alluded to, uh, I think Max is not afraid of confrontation. He's not afraid of feedback, positive or negative. And I think that's one thing he actually craved in Montreal is a little bit more. And he's going to get lots of it from John Tortorella. But Max is also not the kind of guy to wilt under criticism or, or a challenge. And, and John Tortorella will do that to you. And, and he'll find out who he can push and how hard he can push him. And I think that Max will, will take those moments and they're going they're also there will be moments there will be moments where torts is on max there'll be moments where max is mad at torts and that's okay because torts uh will continue to be honest and upfront but max won't back down and he won't retreat into a, the corner he'll keep pushing back and pushing to get better in response to what he is hearing from his coach i know max i've known him since he was three years old when i played with his dad in toronto and he has that kind of spirit so i, I think a lot of people were concerned about the relationship with john tortorella I'm not at all. I think it'll be good. In, in many ways, you know, Brandon Dubinsky, when he first started with Torts and the Rangers, like they had some real yeah, oh yeah. moments where they butted heads, but Dubinsky became a, a better player for it. And I think, Max, the same thing might happen. It, it takes a certain player, a uh, certain type of player to play for a guy like John Tortorella. Miko Koivu seems like that. Oh, he's wheelhouse. Going to, he's going to love Miko Koivu on his team. Well, Miko Koivu at this point is, is not the offensive threat he once was, but he's a big, strong, solid defensive centerman. And, and that's the position he was brought in to play as the third-line guy and behind Dubois and Domi. And, and you're right, Torts wants commitment, he wants reliability, and he wants consistency. All things that you can accurately describe Miko Koivu with. And so I, I think um, the fact that... Uh, Torts will have a guy he can lean on who's very good in the face-off circle, can match up against other teams, play good defensively. That's what he wants. That's what he wants down the middle. And they recognize that they needed to be help there. Max Domi in there to provide offense on the second line. Koivu to provide defense and stability on the third line. And, and two veteran guys, two guys who've been around the league a little bit, and who two guys who I think they, they want to do some winning. You know, Max Domi hasn't done a lot of winning in the playoffs. I heard Miko Koivu said he hasn't had a chance to go very far with his time in Minnesota. And Columbus has shown... They may not have the super, super high-end forwards that some that Tampa might have, but they are capable of beating anyone at any time. And once they get to the playoffs, they have the ability to make a run. And I, I think the fact that Domi and, and Koivu embrace that is a good thing. Uh, a year ago, they lost their super high-end goaltender, Sergei Bobrovsky, to free agency. Right. And, and that was a big question mark coming into last year. We learned they got pretty good depth Did in goaltending with Merzlikens and Corpus Salo. Have we learned who the guy is going to be this year and maybe who the guy is long-term for this squad? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, you look at the numbers. Uh, Merzlikens, I think, is perceived to be the guy going forward. Uh, his ceiling is probably a little bit higher, that he can be maybe a star. Corpus Allo, though, played well enough to make the All-Star game last year, played spectacularly well when he played in the playoffs this year. So, more important than ever, the fact that they can roll both out there and they don't have the kind of financial commit to the, commitment to them just yet is, a, is an advantage for Columbus. And team clearly trusts in both of them, as does the coach. But I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure who they pick. I think it's going to be Merzlikens in the end, but uh, time will tell. But th they have a great one-two punch and... The price tag is spectacular. All right, interesting offseason with the flat salary cap. Teams out there who are right up against the cap. Yeah. Columbus, not one of those teams. They freed up a yeah, ton of did. room, but to, they to haven't do... spent it yet. Yeah. I, I'm Other not than a... line your pockets, what is this team waiting on? What do you think they need, and what do you what do you think they're targeting? Is is a big move coming? Uh, well, I'm not sure if it's going to be a big move. It's going to be a big contract to Pierre Luc Dubois. I mean, I think initially when you're buying out Wenberg and you're trading Murray for a draft pick and Nudavar and everything else. You're thinking, okay, well, are they going to be after Petrangelo? Are they going to go after Taylor Hall? Whatever what, it might what's be. What's the number on a guy like Pierre-Luc Dubois? Because he's not getting 13-6. No, but he's going to eat more than half of it. Okay. He's going to be seven. Yeah. And, and so then you're left with six. Uh, and I also think they were making sure, it's unlikely, but that they had full defensive ability if there was an offer sheet put out there. With those guys on the team, yeah. Pierre-Luc Dubois signs an offer sheet. All of a sudden, they're in a real pinch and are reactionaries of being proactive and making sure they're not a uh, victim of that at all. So... Uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois is going to take up seven plus on a six or seven year deal if he goes down that road. And then they still have room for something else. And Gavrikov has to sign, I think, as well. He's going to eat probably two or three or four. So you start doing the math. 
Yeah, that 13 or, I get to 10 or 11 pretty quickly, quick. Yeah. So I, you know, I don't know if you're going to get an impact player again with what's left over. I think they'll just do the business for signing their restricted free agent guys. And then if something else happens, it probably comes out of a trade more so than a signing. But, it, but leading into free agency, you're thinking with all that money. Yeah. Here. But you look at yeah. you look at the restricted guys and realize that it's it's already accounted for. Uh, we sat here a year ago and based on all the subtractions this team had, we thought, no way, off the mm. cliff. Mm. And then what do they do? They come out and they surprise everybody. What do you what do you project for the upcoming season with this squad? Same as last year. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think they're gonna fall off. They'll find John Tortorella will find a way to rally the troops and get them to play. They got the goaltenders. Yeah. Regardless of injury, they have their stars on defense and Jones and Wierenski. I think Gavrikov's a really good player as well. Um, you know, Cam Atkins, we know how injured they were last year. Yeah. Decimated. Oh, my goodness. So even just, gen Still. just yeah, general is. health will make them much better. But Cam Atkinson needs to bounce back in a big way. And, you know, Max Domeek stepping in there and him kind of bouncing back to where he was. That'll take them a long way because they don't need to score a ton of goals. They're a defense first team. And if they can get to three, they're going to win a lot of games every night. So just a few guys chipping in and a little bit better health. And Columbus will be right back in the playoffs and nobody Nobody's going to want to see Columbus in the playoffs. They've yeah. shown that already. It's same story year after year, last three years. John Tortorella will have this team, despite yep. all the subtractions, ready to go and one of those teams that you do not want to see come playoff time.